Have you ever wanted to add multiple points to a path in Affinity Designer? Even points. You can do it with version 2 now, PC or Mac. Just going to move that. And you can select any shape. So I'm going to go with the star tool. You can also do this with other curves and text as well. So create a star. What you need to do, you need to convert this to curves. So if you decide, I want number of points, say 10, do that first. Then click convert to curves. So once that's converted, you can now see the node tool that's been selected. There's no tool and you've got all these nodes. Select them all, so all selected, and then go to the action. Here's the action, the first one along the control bar, and click there. And you can see what happens. It splits that curve. So you've got that point, that point, and it's added this point. You can repeat that. So you drag over them all again, click there. And again, it's added some more. You can repeat that. Just add that and click there again. And you can see you can get more and more points, all even, all around that curve. And it could be a heart design, it could be a square, anything. What you can then do is select the individual points. And then, of course, you can drag them out and create all kinds of unique designs from that shape. You can also select just a couple of them, maybe five or six. And again, you can see it's available. Click there. And again, more is created. Click there. And you can see you can create lots and lots to create all kinds of very thin, sort of unusual lines like that, if you wish. Let's just remove that now. You can also use this. Here's the curve, and of course I can modify that, move them around, you can just drag that up. But what you can also do is you can use exactly the same feature. So let's just move that up here so you can see it a bit clearer. Again, no tool, select them all, select all those points, they're all selected. You can see every one of those selected. Again, go up here and click the action. And again, it's split that curve between that point and that point. You can see you've got a new point. Again, exactly the same all around. Again, select all of them. And again, click there. And you can repeat it. I don't know if there's a limit. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. And you can see you can grab more and more. And of course, once you've done that, again, exact same. You can select individual points and just drag those out like that. You can also select a couple of them. And again, you can see you've got the option there and you can click that and add some additional points there just to that area. And again, click there and you can see you've got more points. You can always delete them, of course, select and delete key. Just remove them. Let's just remove that. You can also use text. So here's the word style that I created using the artistic text tool. And at the moment, it's still text. Make certain the text is what you want because, of course, do exactly the same as before. Convert to curves. So just click there or right click and use the convert to curves. So click there. And now you've got this group. And you can see if you break that down in the layers panel, that's in the window menu and layers, you've got curves. What you can do, you can select them all and you can see all these points. At the moment, it's not available. The reason is no tool. You need to select them all. So make sure you go over there, drag over them. Now you don't have to use all of them. You could just go for S and T, say. Again, action, just click there. And you can repeat that. Again, click there, drag over that, click there. And you can see you can add more and more of these points. And again, just click there and drag and modify your text in that way. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you much.